it's below zero today, so I'm going to stay in the warm shop and do a little bit of maintenance. There's been a lot of talk about the proper chain tension on the new Turbo R, so I'm going to pull the chain case off my 23 Expert Turbo R 154. That way we can visually see what the proper chain tension looks like. And I'll also show you what a loose chain looks like from the inside. But I'm going to spare you with some boredom. I'm going to pull the hood off, pull the muffler off. If you don't know how to pull the hood off your Expert, for your new Gen 5 ski -Doo, there's a video below. Like and subscribe, more videos to come. Let's dig into it. I got the hood pulled, I got the muffler out. I have all the hardware out of the chain case cover. I have shot unplugged. I have the speedometers unplugged here. The cover's ready to come off, as you can see, it's trying to fall off. So let's pull it out. They're not that tricky to get out once you know the procedure. Just kind of rotate it. I forgot to pull this out of the chain case cover. Now the cover's off. Chain case cover's off. This chain is tensioned properly. I really pay attention to this because it's 180 horsepower. They're going to stretch. I have a T25 with screwdriver type. I'm just going to back it off two or three turns. So that's three turns. As you can see the chain is now trying to loop around the bottom of the, the sprocket and that's really loose that's maybe two and a half turns it's enough slack that it's going to make contact with the case let's get, go further here so the tensioner works has this poly glide and it's putting pressure on the chain. That keeps it in tension, keeps it tight around the bottom of the sprocket, making the most contact it can. That's maybe three and a half turns. It's really loose. And if the sled's loading really hard and unloading, loading really hard, that's putting a lot of force on the chain, which is unnecessary. That's why it's so important to keep it tight. I'll zoom in so you can see. So here's a better close-up view. Chain's still really loose. So there's half turn. There's full turn. Getting better. Another half. There's two turns. And that's pretty good. And I'm not putting a lot of force on the screwdriver. And I would ride it there. We don't want to go too tight. It'll cause premature wear on the tensioner itself. And if we lose this tensioner, or if it wears away that's going to cause a sudden loss in chain tension which will probably lead to catastrophic failure another way to tell if your chain is loose we can rock the secondary clutch back and forth and you can feel the slop and i'm going to show you what that looks like normally i just tension the chain by feel but if you have the clutch cover off it's a good thing to check so I have the chain back way off again so we can see this see the track isn't moving but you can see the slop in the chain right here. I'll show you on the other side what that looks like. As I rock the driven back and forth, now you can visually see what you're feeling in the driven clutch. Let's go ahead and tension it back up and button the sled back up. I'm gonna tighten the chain one more time. As you can see, when the chain's really loose, the adjuster spins like a really loose bolt. Now it's getting a little more difficult. I'm not using much force at all. Now Call that tight right there. And that's proper chain tension. So check your chain. If you stay on top of this, you won't have a catastrophic failure. The chain is inspected. Now you can visually see what the proper tension looks like. So I'm going to top this. Well, I'm going to put the cover back on, top this thing off with some new oil, and go enjoy this all this new snow we have. Thanks for watching.